So what's going on in business intelligence? Um, this is obviously an area that went through a tremendous amount of consolidation over the, maybe five years ago, seven years ago. Um, you saw a lot of the big suite providers sucking up the, the BI uh, solutions that were on the market. And if I was to look at kind of what are the trends going on in BI in 2014, I would see there's been, I would say there's been a dynamic shift towards um, usability and helping the line of business, not the IT um, user, actually embrace analytics in BI systems. So, you know, a lot of the traditional systems that were out there that were purchased by, you know, Oracle and SAP and IBM and, and these big organizations, um, those tools were extremely robust, and they were so robust that typically um, IT or, or, you know, very technical individuals had to actually do the analysis and, and uh, manage the system. And what we're seeing now in 2014 is a shift and a move more towards on-demand and systems that are super easy to um, upload data to from any type of source. A marketer could actually get access to the system because the cost of entry is low. Um, and so you're starting to see a new breed of buyer that are looking for analytics that have data and, and it could be in marketing, it could be in sales, could be in supply chain where you know, these individuals are sitting on spreadsheets and they just want a better way to manage and, and do the analytics on those spreadsheets. So they're actually proactively going out and looking for solutions. Instead of going to IT and requesting reports and things, they want to get in there and get their hands dirty. So I think that's a tremendously good sign um, in general because you know, we're all kind of real time these days. We have apps and you know, access to information 24 seven on our smartphones. And so the industry as a whole, BI solution providers, need to embrace this trend. Um, the other shift we're seeing is, I, I've seen a lot of companies revisiting their user interface, making it easier, making it less, um, I guess making it uh, fresher on the eye. So that, there's been a lot of uh, refreshes. And there's been a, a tremendous amount of of uh, options now, so you can get it hosted, you can get it on demand, you can put it in, you know, in on a hardware uh, box or whatever you need to do to adopt uh, BI internally. There's a lot of options out there, and likewise, there are a lot of different price points on the different solutions. Um, overall, you know, people often ask me why, well, as an analyst, you know, I frequently use these tools, and they ask me which one I love. Um, and I've used many, many tools, and I just find you know they're all different in their own way. Once you get used to how they work, um, they can become very powerful, and you, they tend to be very sticky. But if for some reason you and, and the nice thing about on-demand, about low-cost solutions, is if for some reason a solution doesn't work for you and it's not being embraced by the organization, it's not a big deal to go out and look for another one because it's it's easier to get data in, it's easier to analyze. Everything you need to do is is really, um, it's become kind of a commodity, unfortunately, for the vendors. And um, so I, I think, you know, what to look for, definitely innovation on the type of reports that you can generate that are just very simple. Um, I think innovation around industries, there's a lot of solutions now that have specific focuses on verticals. So you could actually lean on the vendor to get analytics out of the system based on your industry. Um, and then general usability and uh, the cost is coming down. So I mean, these are all good signs for, for buyers because you know, if, if you're IT and you're looking for very robust solutions, you know where to look for. And those are still awesome solutions. They're, they, they do what they need to do for the organization. But if you're a smaller player and you're just looking to get your hands dirty or you know, you're a, um, a division of a business unit or, or a smaller entity, um, there's a lot of options on BI now, and, and, and the only way that that's going to continue to move in the direction it is, is by making data analysis very simple for the end user and very intuitive. And, you know, and so that kind of means backing out some of those more robust capabilities, leaving those for those more uh, robust solutions. And then what ends up happening in the industry is you have kind of a life cycle approach where maybe users start with an on-demand version that's giving them light analytics, realize that you know, at, at a point, it's not quite giving them what they need, and now we need to transition into a more robust tool or solution. Um, that's better than the user never using it at all. So that's what we're seeing in the space. You can check out this, uh, the BI 2014 Business Intelligence GleanSight Benchmark Report, which also includes uh, vendor rankings, and those are based on crowdsourced user reviews on four different criteria, ease of use, features and functions, overall value, 
and ease of deployment. So if you want to see how people who are actually using these technologies reflect on them, um, take a look at this report. Otherwise, the report actually features top performers. So we have a methodology that targets top performing organizations. You can learn how top performing organizations actually embrace BI and, and some of the challenges they overcome and uh, how they measure the success of the initiatives. Thanks.